Take it, y'all. I'll take it. Okay, so Manoa Falls ended up being our first attraction of our trip. Super beautiful, super easy to get to. Um, the parking lot that I'm showing here, there is a lot of stray roosters. Um, I know that sounds crazy, but yeah, they're out there and they're pretty aggressive. Um, my boyfriend actually got bit by a freaking rooster. So just when you park your car, get out your car and get to the trail. Don't linger around because it's their territory and they will bite you. Okay, so I forgot to add that uh, when you enter the trail, uh, you will have to pay $10 for parking. Uh, I do want to let you guys know, bring the appropriate shoes because it's going to rain throughout the hike and everything is muddy. So just make sure you have on the right shoes. Uh, in the front, they do sell disposable raincoats. So if you guys don't like, you know, outside water like touching you, um, then I suggest to get that. We didn't end up using ours because it actually feels really good. The weather is really nice. So if you guys are going to go to Hawaii, you have to check it out.
Okay, our luau started at 4 and it was over at 8. They utilize the whole four hours. So you guys get prepared. So we just go through, you know, their culture. They dance for us. Uh, we got to sightsee and see where how they grow like macadamia nuts and uh, how they grow their pineapples. It was a really dope experience. They make you feel like family, super welcoming. Um, as you can see, the dancing part, they do have a bar uh, in the beginning. You will get two drinks on the house. And then after that, you pay like, you know, seven to nine dollars for any drink after that. And y'all, they are not stingy with the alcohol. As you can see, AJ and his friend Billy here, they were drunk. <laughs> um, me and Tierra, we were drunk as well, but they were like lifted. So super dope. And it's a really, really intimate luau. Like if you want to take, you know, your family or you know some friends just go to experience nut rich it's super dope yep. hey, you can really see it with the light look at the light look how hard it's raining hey, it looks like it's raining here. girl okay so the day after the luau we went to halona blowhole lookout super beautiful but just go to look you guys uh this was an old volcano we ended up getting up on those black rocks and a wave hit us and I scraped my leg up. Tierra scraped her hand, her leg up, and it hurt really bad. It was super scary too. The waves come in really hard. So just go to honest, like honestly for the view. Um, if you are gonna swim, just stay really close to the shore. Hey, Jizzle in the building. Okay, let's look at the view. Let's show them the view. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, babe, do your shit. Do your shit, daddy. Oh, look at that action. Ooh, nice action. Okay, so this was a beach day for us. We ended up stopping at Ono Steak and Shrimp Shack. It's right down the way from Waimanalo Beach. Super convenient. The beach is awesome, you guys. There's not a lot of people. Very intimate. If you're trying to just be on some chill stuff, even when you get in the water, you're like by yourself. So I highly recommend this beach if you guys are staying um, on Oahu. It's super easy to get to. Um, you guys will really enjoy it. This cafe is called Cinnamons. It's at the Lily Kai Hotel. It's literally right up the street from Ala Moana if you guys are staying there. But even if, you, even if you're not staying there, it's a really good like breakfast spot. So it's really nothing to drive. Um, I didn't get enough footage to do the cafe any justice, but the food, you guys, I can't stress it enough. It is super satisfying. AJ had a Mahi Mahi Egg Benedict. It's literally like a fish and egg Benedict. I have pistachio pancakes and we actually came twice. So that's how you know it's good, you guys. Check it out. <laughs> 